Hello, my name is Chase McElhaney. Um, I am a journalism student at the University of Kansas, and this is my fifth uh, senior, my fifth year. I'm a fifth year senior, and I'll be graduating in May. This semester, um, I interned at Great Plains Media, which uh, is here in Lawrence, and is the media outlet for three local radio stations. 105.9 KISS FM, 92.9 The Bowl, and AM 1320 KLWN, um, where you can hear all KU men's and women's sports, um, and you can also hear them on 105.9 uh, Basketball and Football. Um, a family friend told me to get the internship at um, Great Plains Media. He was part of, um, he's been part of Great Plains for many years and told me that they were in need of an intern. Um, so the hiring process was very relaxed and easy. Um, they were in need of an intern. They have interns every semester. Last semester they had up to 12 interns, um, but this semester I was the only intern. So they were happy to have me and a uh, very open um, to let me develop my skills with them. They asked what I was most interested in doing and I told them production, um, but they ensured me that I was going to be exposed to every aspect of the radio station and every aspect of um, the business of a media outlet, which Great Plains Media is in itself. Some of my best accomplishments that I did throughout the semester um, my first day, I, I appeared on, or I talked on 1320 KLWN um, just for about 20 minutes, and the host and I discussed President Obama coming into town and speaking at um, Anschutz at KU, and I had a really good time doing that. It was uh, an interesting topic, and I was very surprised that they kind of threw me into the flames on the first day, but it was a good experience. Um, another accomplishment... I had, I produced many audio bits um, for 105.9. Some of them were imaging, which is just what you hear in between commercials, um, like the station identification. And I also got to record my voice a couple times um, for commercials, which were mock commercials, but they, don't, they didn't get to be aired on the radio. But my supervisor told me she liked my work and that um, potentially in the future I might get to make some commercials. Um, a third accomplishment I had was on Valentine's Day I was the co-host on 92.9 The Bull which is the country station um, and the the DJ and I, me being the co-host, we just um, talked back and forth about Valentine's Day, gave advice, um, told people what and what not to do, just small radio talk, as you can imagine. Um, but that was fun and interesting, and um, it really exposed me to the on-air side of radio, which I've learned to like a lot. The best part of working at Great Plains Media and any radio station or any, any media outlet is you get a behind-the-scenes look of what goes on um, in radio or TV that nobody else knows about or can even imagine um, how um, a piece of you know a, t a TV show a radio show is produced listeners and viewers all you see is what's on TV or on the radio but you don't know exactly how that goes down and there are a lot of different steps and complications and hiccups and um, things that go wrong but things that go great and a lot of technical um, perspectives of media outlets and you get to see all of that and it's awesome it's a perspective that no one else really gets to see unless you work in a media outlet my advice for anyone wanting to get an internship is to talk to your career advisor they will set you up you tell them what you want to do and they will find something for you and it's up to you to update your resume have your career advisor look at your resume and to, to just apply, you got to apply places. Um, and then once you get an uh, once you get an internship, my advice then would be just to show up, just to 
show up and be there and do what you're supposed to do and they're gonna love you you're an intern so you're not supposed to know it all you're there to learn basically it's like a class so um, if you can show up every day just like you would for class and learn uh, they're gonna love you and you'll be a great intern thank you